Assalamualaikum. Uh, uh, nama saya Nur Zainah binti Ahmad. Uh, saya berusia uh, 50 tahun. Uh, sekarang saya tinggal di Alusta Kedah. Um, du, uh, buat kerja sendiri. Uh, buat semua uh, bisnes, uh, online bisnes. Uh, dan uh, Dahulunya saya banyak bekerja dalam marketing dalam bidang marketing. So, can you articulate something about COVID situation in Malaysia, how it started and what is the uh, situation now? Okay, uh, actually uh, I get uh, sebenarnya uh, I get to know about COVID 19 ni uh, uh, sebab last year end of uh, December uh, saya pergi ke Umrah di Umrah uh, selama dua minggu. So uh, I pergi end of December 28. So I balik ke Malaysia pada 9 hari bulan uh, Januari. So at that time uh, dekat Malaysia kita tak uh, kita dengar pasal uh, COVID-19 tapi uh, tak tak menyeluruh. It's not uh, wide widely known. Uh, the reason why I tahu pasal COVID, I mean more about this COVID-19 because my uh, arwah my mother, my late mother which uh, who passed away on the 20th of January. Huh. Yeah, so I came back, saya balik ke Malaysia 9, 8 hari bulan Januari. Uh, so, uh, she passed away 20 hari bulan Januari. So, about 11 days, uh, I dengan dia. So, uh, dia uh, admitted to the hospital uh, Friday 17. Hmm. 17 of Januari, she admitted. Hmm. Uh, sorry, six, seven, seven, 16, sorry, 16. Hmm. Uh, around that, I can't remember the exact date. Hmm. So, but it's on Friday. So, uh, she admitted to the hospital. But at that time, because I just, I, I baru balik daripada Umrah. So, I'm coughing. Usually, uh, it's a normal, uh, normal, normal ni lah. Benda-benda yang normal, which you come back from Umrah and then you akan coughing. Uh, you got uh, fever tu tak sangat, jet lag and coughing. So, bila uh, my mother was admitted to the red zone emergency, so bila I was coughing and then uh, since I'm in the hospital, so I minta lah ubat dekat doktor. So, I masuk jumpa doktor. Lepas tu, I mentioned that I baru balik daripada Mekah. Uh, at that time, the doctor uh, sort of like quarantine me. Uh-huh. Yeah, wearing the the cloak yang uh, attire yang macam sekarang, yang COVID-19 sekarang tu. Uh-huh. So, I I asked lah, I kata kenapa nak kena pakai macam ni semua uh, Lepas tu dia cakap lah, dia kata uh, this is to prevention lah Because this COVID-19 is a very very serious matter hmm. But masa kita tak macam for us like It's a, it's like a joke you know Like you are um, in the quarantine room And then <laughs> the doctor came in with all these suits like spaceship like that So it was like a joke macam, it's a, it's a joke lah. Macam, kan lah joke in a, not in a bad way. Tapi uh. macam, you know, it's fun of it, kan? But after after my mother passed away on the 20th tu, uh, then we start to listen more about uh. this uh, coronavirus, uh, COVID-19. Oh. Uh, and uh, uh, we start, start, uh, yeah. dah start. Jadi yeah. tu kita dengar sikit-sikit dah. Hmm. Uh, started uh, in February lah, February. Uh. Hmm. Everybody then start uh, start dengar and then we start uh, end of March. Mm. End of March. I'm I'm really yeah. sorry about your mother. It's uh, yeah, I'm really sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, may Allah um, bless her. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Alhamdulillah, I met I managed to meet her before she go lah. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Think my thing ah, uh, masa I dekat. Uh, mm. Mekah tu, she keep calling me. I mean, I mean, keep video call, and then she keep asking me, when are you coming back? When are you coming mm. back? Bila you nak balik? Bila you nak balik? You know, uh, masa pergi kat sana pun, masa dekat Mekah pun masa tu uh, ada juga dengar sikit-sikit lah pasal uh, sikit-sikit, sikit-sikit, not much, not much. Okay. Mm. But COVID 19 ni. Uh, so, what do you think that this COVID 19 has an impact? on family life now, on uh, work, on business, 
you know now now what uh, in your yeah. shutdown in the movement control uh, operation what is the okay. impact yeah Uh, sebab saya ada banyak uh, kawan-kawan yang buat bisnes uh, most of my kebanyakan kawan-kawan saya buat bisnes yang melibatkan uh, beauty products um, banyak yang buka spa banyak yang buka shop selling uh, uh, jamu you know uh, dan juga ada juga kawan-kawan yang buka buka uh, macam workshop uh, bengkel and then ada yang buat training Uh, train, uh, training uh, session untuk orang so uh, these are the things yang memang effect hmm. I, I, uh, actually even on the a week before uh, Malaysia kena shut down which is, which is on the 18th of March uh, uh, a week before not, not a week three days before that I attended uh, satu training hmm. it's a online uh, marketing training Masa tu uh, ada satu big training which was held uh, by my ex boss Dr Azizan Osman. The training I think it was 5000 people tak silap I. It was cancelled. Cancelled, yes, cancelled. Hmm. So, three days before uh, lockdown in Malaysia. Hmm. It was cancelled so they did online. So my training masa tu uh, tak ramai about I think about 300 uh, hmm. to 400 Uh, personnel uh, people uh, we still go on with the training tapi uh, kita sit agak jauh lah tak dekat tapi not 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 satu meter lah tapi bukan satu meter lah kita still sit tapi not so close lah and then they have hand sanitizer and everything uh, and they did mention uh, pasal uh, ni lah COVID-19 ni uh, tapi uh. we are lucky that we still attend, attended the class lah hmm. by uh, Najib Asadok oh, in Penang very good. so bila datang balik bila balik, I think the most effects is uh, catering business also effects. Oh. Because on the 18 itself, my cousin is actually supposed to got married. Ha. She did married, she get she dia berkahwin juga, angkat nikah, tapi kenduri tak buat. Oh. Ah, kenduri <laughs> cannot do. Ah, cannot do the kenduri, the ha. fest. Uh, what so catering business? Ah, uh, catering already charge her. Dia dah bayar deposit 5,000 ringgit. Ha. So the catering won't give back the money. Ah, ha. no. Cannot. Ah, ah. <laughs> so, I think catering business affected on the first day, on the first week too, and then even uh, keduri kawin, you know, uh, orang banyak effect on on this. I, I, I'm not sure about other businesses, hmm. but this are ni adalah benda-benda yang berlaku di sekeliling I. Yang hmm. I dah nampak uh, orang berniaga makan, uh, uh, orang uh, buka small small apa bengkel kereta. Uh, cuci kereta uh, kedai makan kedai uh, makan uh, so now uh, the the families uh, they spend more time in the inside the uh, house yeah yeah so what what is the positive and negative things happening now inside the house ah uh, for me on the positive part is that um uh, You get to stay together, you know, stay at yeah. home. Uh, for me, yeah, I'm still alone in the yeah. house because yeah. uh, the I, abang abang I, kakak kakak I cannot come back to kampung uh, because of the uh, roadblock and the lockdown. But I, I'm at home alone. But my house is, I'm staying in my late mother's house, hmm. rumah arwah my mother. Jadi, uh, kita duduk satu kampung. Uh, so, adalah my aunties, my uncles, my cousins, uh, sepupu, uh, makcik, pakcik duduk sekali satu kampung. So uh, the children memang kita tak bagi keluar that means you cannot go out uh, tak boleh keluar langsung so they play lah uh, so we, we we pray that they are safe lah because dia tak terdedah kepada covid-19 kan uh, so they they still doing the same routine uh, even one of my auntie uh, dia sebab dia duduk in another part tapi at that time sebelum uh, lockdown tu because it's school holiday di sekolah so she came back to the kampung now she cannot go back to the house yeah. so the uh, grandchildren is quite happy sebab duduk kampung uh, duduk kampung is much better than duduk dekat taman because if you're staying in the ha- taman area you cannot go up and play football yeah. so duduk kampung you can play football yeah. so that's on the positive part lah yeah. and then um, we are eating healthy food we cook ourselves you know uh, Lost weight lah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and Got then, uh, surprisingly, 
because I'm doing a beauty product. Ah. Uh, I mean, I'm 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 being an agent for another company, the yeah. beauty product, which is for whitening the the skin. Yeah, this is very good, you know. Ah, yeah, is it? <laughs> because people have more time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, the- Mothers, yeah. Uma, yeah. you know they have time to take care of their skin, <laughs> and surprisingly, um, my sales for this month is like uh, almost two hundred percent. Ah, oh good, that's yeah, great. I that's postage, ah. postage. So, so yeah. like once I come up uh, to post the postage to my customer. So the catering comes down, the costume uh, makeup goes up. Yes, goes up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Surprising. Surprising. I'm not sure on the apart. Uh, cuma, uh, the the not seen the. I mean, for my company, the beauty product company, uh, it's hard for them to get uh, some of the stock quite low now, because factory doesn't open. Production is a bit. Uh, I'm not to say slow in low volume. Mm. Uh, so that's the ni lah uh, impact dia lah. Uh, uh, kilang tak boleh keluarkan produk banyak sangat because company cannot you know, cannot open uh, quite limited uh, so that's the, the the sad part lah. I think the negativity part is um, on the negative part uh, kita rasa macam I mean I mean ada certain business like people uh, some of them laid off by the company Uh, I mean, I got cousins yang kerja dengan McDonald's yang because they are paying pay uh, daily pay gaji harian so they cannot work because most of some of the McDonald's are closed especially in the shopping mall uh, so they don't get pay lah they don't get pay and then um, banyak uh, ba- kita tengok orang yang meninggal kan yang mati yang kita tak boleh visit tak boleh jumpa um, tak boleh tengok for the last time untuk kali terakhir Uh, itulah. So uh, bagi I uh, and then yang polis, uh, jururawat, doktor, I ada kau ada saudara kerja jururawat, ada kawan-kawan yang kerja jururawat yang sedih bila tengok dia orang, you know, uh, balik kerja penat, they cannot help the children, they cannot, dia tak boleh peluk anak-anak, tak boleh peluk suami, uh, you know, uh, those are the things lah yang negatif. Tapi uh, for me uh, mostly Kebanyakannya, I keep myself to positivity, for positivity lah. Yeah. You know, uh, for me, masa ni adalah masa I untuk uh, spend time uh, with my fam, with my aunties, and then uh, spend more time with my creator lah. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's good. That's uh, good. That's you know, good. You get, yeah. I dapat banyak masa untuk buat uh, uh, ibadah yang Selama ni bila you kerja you tak ada masa nak buat so this are the, this is a time i think yeah. one of the reason the the most positive reason lah yeah. uh, positive uh, yang reason for covid yeah That, that's great that's great to hear yeah. um what are the lessons that we can learn about human life during this covid 19 context okay uh Selalu kita tengok, macam saya cakap tadi, uh, kita uh, banyak spend time, walaupun kita satu family, this is the, bagi saya, the positive part lah, you know. Uh, kita banyak for uh, parents, uh, mak, bapa, anak, memang duduk satu rumah, tapi kita hmm, hmm. Uh, tak uh, macam, tak banyak spend, tak banyak masa bersama. Uh, you balik kerja, anak mak bapa dah pukul 8 jumpa pukul 10 dah tidur so 2 jam saja jumpa itu pun every uh, semua orang tengah tengok handphone you know? uh, so now mak bapa anak dalam rumah uh, so uh, the mak tak tahu masak pun sekarang tahu masak uh, anak yang selama ni tak makan mak punya makanan uh, tak sedap pun jadi sedap so i uh, uh, i dok cakap dengan my friend i kata don't be surprised jangan terkejut lepas Covid-19 ni uh, the children will miss the mother cooking. Ah. <laughs> after after. <laughs> Alah, mak masak lah. Ha, uh, you know? Ha. Uh, I think almost one month lah, almost uh, one month dah. Yeah. Covid yeah. lockdown. Yeah. So I think that's I mean, for me positive for human human side, these are the things lah. These yeah. are the things that I think uh, God give us lah. Yeah. 
Hmm? Uh, Bye-bye. Yes. So you might have uh, heard from the news that United mm-hmm. United States or Europe, all the Western countries, the confirmed cases are high and the death rates is high. In in uh, contrast with the African countries or Asian countries, of course, in Asia, uh, mm-hmm. minusing a few countries. So, mm-hmm. do you think any reasons for that? Any socio cultural reasons for that uh, yang uh, I dapat nampak adalah because dulu uh, bila AIDS bila AIDS kita nampak AIDS means uh, you are naik did you naik kat muka you you sakit you nampak benda tu tau you nampak so hmm. benda tu bila you nampak you takut hmm. COVID-19 you tak nampak hmm. so uh, macam uh, I think dekat Amerika dekat Itali because you tak nampak sebab tu dia orang rasa macam benda tu tak dangerous, tak bahaya. Until benda tu dah sampai extend yang um, dah terlalu bahaya, baru dia orang nak sedar. I think COVID-19 is all about that because yeah. kita tak nampak benda tu, tak nampak virus tu. Yeah. Uh, kalau sakit lain macam kena tembak, macam uh, tsunami, macam banjir, kita boleh nampak benda tu datang, mati, nampak. Yeah. Yang ni you tak nampak. Yeah. You sakit pun uh, because there's one cute yang budak seorang umur 2 tahun dekat Malaysia hmm. yang bapak dia bawa dia naik ambulans, dia macam happy but he is positive COVID-19. Oh. So I think in yeah, hmm. very sad. Hmm. Oh. Later I, I, if I can I, I, I yeah. share with you. The yeah, part. please. Uh. You saw the, the father hmm. him on the ambulans. Dia macam seronok duduk ambulans but dia 2 years old. Nak ambulan macam oh nak ambulan, ha. ha, tapi that's the last time that the mother saw, saw oh, him. Oh, no. it's very sad, very sad. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I think uh, in US, in Europe, uh, and then people mix so you know closely meet you know, yeah. uh, bergaul, uh, orang tak kisah, so people still go out, people still go to concert. Uh, people pergi concert, people pergi orang pergi concert, orang pergi juga yang uh, mass lecture yeah. in Colorado if I'm not mistaken dekat US yang the pastor yang kena tan- kena tahan tu mm-hmm. because they held uh, with 1000 attendance attendance kan yeah uh, orang datang one uh, one uh, 1000 people mm. sebab dia tak nampak benda tu dia tak nampak covid so bagi dia, dia rasa macam ah, tak dangerous kot tak mm. bahaya kot dia mm. tak nampak benda tu tak nampak Hmm. So I think mostly uh, for African, you know, surprisingly, yeah, yeah. I don't know, okay? yeah. <laughs> Indonesia at hmm. uh, at one uh, mas- masa Malaysia tengah sibuk sibuk masa COVID, dia orang pun tak hmm. tak sibuk sangat, tapi baru baru ni dah start. Hmm. And we just uh, we me and my friend we just had a discussion just now. Hmm. Sekarang ah, kita akan kita tu sebab dia cannot control. They even worse than Malaysia nanti sebab hmm. dia cannot control. Oh. Okay. And then, uh, I think might be orang degil, stubborn. Hmm. Uh, in Europe, in US. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dia, dia, bila dia cakap, uh, I mean, benda ni boleh membunuh. Tapi macam macam saya cakap tadi, orang tak nampak benda tu. The virus, orang tak boleh nampak. So, yeah. kita macam, betul ke, betul ke, boleh mati, betul ke, boleh mati. I think that's yeah. the reason. So, so... Uh, what are you pro- what are you proud of being a Malaysian in this in comparing with a few other I mean you don't need to name others but as a Malaysian are you proud uh, maybe following the government orders or you know uh, you have anything to say on that okay uh, so guys uh, I think the positive side of uh, covid 19 ni uh, kat Malaysia adalah setengah tu yang Agak, agak negatif tapi saya rasa yang paling banyak sekali adalah when, uh, bila orang start bagi sumbangan you know uh, you, uh, tak kira you India tak kira you China tak kira you Melayu tak kira you bangsa lain tapi kita uh, yang those with a lot uh, ada duit dia orang uh, beli makanan you know uh, back in money untuk charity untuk uh, bagi makanan kepada polis askar uh, nurses uh, dekat hospital 
And then uh, uh, tolong orang-orang yang susah, orang-orang yang tidak ada duit, you know, bagi beras, bagi telur, bagi uh, susu. Uh, and then even uh, we have, I have a few ada beberapa kawan yang kita, yang sekolah uh, orang susah, anak-anak yang susah, ialah sus, uh, miskin bandar, uh, urban poor. You know, um, where uh, kita, dia memang tak ada duit. Memang gaji dibayar hari, uh, bila jadi COVID-19, uh, lockdown, uh, uh, mak dia tak boleh meniaga, uh, uh, bapak-bapak tak boleh kerja. So, what we did is that, kita uh, through a teacher, melalui seorang cikgu dia orang, kita orang akan kumpulkan duit. And then, kita beli susu, kita beli beras, kita beli telur, kita beli gula, essential lah, essential. And we, though it's small, but, I hope uh, I hope that you know a lot but uh, in the Facebook I always see uh, banyak orang yang uh, buat sini buat sini so contributes uh, contribute uh, and covid-19 also apart daripada negatif pasal uh, marah polis marah itu marah ini marah government you know apart of that on that just all those uh, orang yang mungkin macam saya cakap tak nampak covid-19 uh, but apart of that uh, uh, we are Malaysian Although we are new government, you know, it's a yeah. new government yes. baru about yeah. one month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alhamdulillah, it's, uh, for me, they are doing very good job. Okay, good, good. good job. Yeah. So, the last question. So, when you were mentioning about playing football, you said that it is, you know, in Kampong it is good, whereas in Taman it is, you know, it's difficult. So, uh, do you think about the our traditional way of living i mean like like 30 40 50 years before where it is more nature centric uh, do do you really uh, miss that um, and do you really want to have it after this covid 19 you know when it exists what is the one thing that you want you liked about the traditional life which you want to happen in future um Okay, uh, uh, firstly, uh, I nak cakap juga, uh, I have nieces, uh, yang small niece, ad- ad- anak-anak saudara. Uh, my anak, adik saya dekat Sunan Petani. So, dia duduk di, di taman, taman perumahan. So, depan adalah tempat nak main, tapi tak ada kawan. So, dia kawan tiga orang. So, bila every time, bila balik kampung, uh, dia nampak banyak kawan-kawan. Orang besar, uh, 17, 15 Uh, umur 8 tahun so dia seronok to the extent yang dia tak nak balik uh, bila time nak balik je mak dia panggil mami dia panggil uh, jom jom nak balik balik i mean they always cry you know uh, i saw that and then um i feel that of course i want the old life i mean when i was younger hmm. where you i mean the children kita main sekali dengan sepupu, dengan cousin, dengan uh, uh, uncles, brothers, sisters kan, adik, uh, adik beradik semua. Where you don't use handphone. Now, <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. some of my anak-anak saudara, because the parents pun, uh, because my cousin semua income pun tak berapa baik. I mean, they got affected. So, tak adalah duit banyak nak bagi anak beli internet data. So, petang uh, start... 5 o'clock, uh, they will start play football and then the small one cycling. Yeah. Kind of nice. Yeah. So not, so not thing. So, tengok rather than kalau you pergi bandar, you tengok you masuk rumah, everybody masuk bilik, do their own thing, you know, and then keluar makan, then that's it. Keluar makan pun pergi makan, still with the phone. And then the father and the mother also don't talk to each other. Now they have to talk because they got yeah. nothing else to do. Yeah. You know? Uh, so, okay. I look I look at COVID-19 has something positive, you know, mm. something positive that, that for for us Muslim, we always believe that kita selalu percaya yang Allah uh, bagi satu benda tu pasti ada kebaikannya, you know, pasti ada kebaikan. Walaupun ditarik sedikit, uh, tarik sedikit ni, tapi I think dia bagi lagi banyak. Mm. Uh, as a Malaysian, um, Tak kira Melayu, Cina, India, bangsa apa pun, um, COVID-19 teach us something. Ajar kita sesuatu. To be together. Yeah? To be together. Uh, to be as the one one country. Not uh, not Malay, not Chinese, not in India. Uh, so that's it. Thank you.